All right, welcome back to the Leafs Fan 18 channel as I do game six of my brand new run of Jeopardy for the Xbox 360. In five games of this new run, I've been back to a total of $98,000. So it's an average of nineteen thousand six hundred per win. This is Jeopardy. Hopefully, I'll get some good categories in this game. Here is the, the host of Jeopardy! Will be Alex and Rebecca. Let's go! Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth two hundred right, this is to the round with the one daily double. These categories. And our categories are Mobilize. And in quotation marks. Musicals opening numbers. Trading places. New York, New York. Waterworks and optical illusions. Player one, make a selection, right, please. Let's start with mobilize for two. A mechanical device used to indicate musical tempo. Okay, player one. What is a metronome? Woo -hoo! Okay, mobilized for 400. Player one, fly agaric is one of these spore producing fungi of the Basidiomycetes class. Player three? Mushroom. Oh, of course. Where do we begin, player Duh. three? Mobilized for six. It can be a powerful person in entertainment or a member of a Muslim dynasty that once ruled India. Let's hear it, player one. What is mogul? Yes. Ooh. There we go. Player one, Training where do we start? Two. All right, here with the clue is Jimmy. Near two major rivers, this Missouri city was founded as a fur trading post by Pierre Leclerc in 1763. Oh, I see the gateway arch in that That's picture. That's here one. That's got to be St. Louis. What is St. Louis? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, musicals you again, number two. One. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. The correct response is Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay, musicals opening number four. Selecting all that jazz. Oh, never seen this musical either. The correct response is Chicago. Oh, Chicago. All right, let's go somewhere else. You get Mobilize to pick again. Game. Someone who moves from relationship to relationship is a serial one. Okay. Let's hear uh, it, let's player one. Go with what is monogamous? Yeah. Right. So that's correct. It's 1800. Selecting this large tube shaped pasta is often stuffed with cheese and baked with a tomato sauce. It's player one. Um, what is macaroni? No. Uh, no, not macaroni. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. Right. Oh. Correct. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Please player two. Make us a good morning, Baltimore. The correct response is hairspray. Hairspray. Never seen that. We return to you, player two. 800 musicals opening. Willkommen. Mm -hmm. 
Here's the response we were looking for. Cabaret. Cabaret, okay. Player two, you pick again, please. Move. You're stepping on my heart. I do not know this one. Okay, player three. Dream girls. Correct. Yeah. Dream girls. Where do we begin, player three? Train places for 400. Frankfurt's Rosmarkt was a site for this type of animal trading, also a term for hard bargaining. It's player one. Um... Oh boy, what is hog trading? No. Nope. Oh. Down, right. Down to 400. Any other takers? Here's the response we were looking for. Horse trading. A oh, horse trading. Player three, back to you. Located on this continent, the Kanembornu Empire lasted a thousand years by being a center of trade. Let's hear it, player two. Asia? Oh. Not Asia. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, 50, player one. 50. What is Africa? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, got it. Player one, New York, you're in command of completed in 1931. This structure required 10 million bricks. A true stairmaster would climb its 1860 steps. Yes, player three. Empire State Building. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Woo. Player three, where do we start? Optical illusions. Hope you studied this eye part that at its maximum contraction in an adult may be less than one millimeter in diameter. It's player one. Uh, what is the pupil? <laughs> yeah. New York for... Player one, start it. Forget about it. Now a borough, it was incorporated as a village in 1816 with roughly 4,000 residents. Is either Brooklyn or Manhattan? I'm not quite sure. The correct response is Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn, okay. You again. In 1754, King's College was founded in New York City. Today it's known as this Ivy League University. It's player one. Right you are. Now I'll put, I'll put some back in the lead. Player one. In 1776, after the battle of this area, the British retook New York City and held the city until the war's end in 1783. Here's what we wanted. Long Island. Select. And so it's the Daily Double. You are in first place. Maybe. What are you going to wait? Here is your clue. In 1765, Congress met in New York to protest unfair taxes levied under this act. What is the Stamp Act? You have Select again. 600. Trading places for eight. This city's Grand Bazaar was built in 1461 by Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror. Yes, player three. Persepolis. Oh. Oh. Any other takers? Here's what we were looking for, Istanbul. Istanbul. Okay, trading places for found. You again. From its founding in 1898 until 1919, this exchange was known as the Chicago Butter and Egg Board. <laughs> Chicago Butter and Egg Board. Uh, 
When I see the New York Stock Exchange. Here's the correct sure. response. Chicago Mercantile Exchange. I would have been wrong. I Player one, back to you for Water our next selection. A waterfall provides only temporary safety from the Hurons for Alice and Cora in this Fenimore Cooper novel. Player one. What is the last of the Mulligans? That is correct. Waterworks. Layer one. An old man recalls his time with the Benzini Brothers Circus in Water for These Large Beasts. Here's what we wanted elephants. Select again. Conrad's Heart of Darkness was inspired by his voyage up this African river. Player two. Congo? <laughs> yep. <Yeah. clears throat> Player two, you start. 800. This final Joyce novel's ending leads back to its beginning. River Run, past Eve and Adams. The correct response is Finnegan's Wake. Never heard of that. Player two, back to you. Thousand. This author's The Open Boat is based on his experience surviving an 1897 shipwreck. Oh, definitely don't know this one. Man, I've been getting some tough questions. Let's hear it, player from three. Stephen Curry. That's right, way to go. That's it. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has control. Jimmy? To allow your eyes to see clearly at varying distances, fibers called the zonules of Zinn change the shape of this eye part that focuses light onto the retina. Let's hear it, layer one. What is the iris? Oh. Oh. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Lens. Oh, the lens. Player three, pick again. Don't detach this, which is next to the choroid, and changes light rays into neural signals. It's player two. Cornea? No. Oh. Wrong. <clears throat> Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's what we were looking for. Retina. Now is the time. Player three, back to you for our next selection. Drivers know the point where the optic nerve enters the eye, has no rods or cones, and goes by this two-word term. Let's hear it, player three. Blind spot. That's correct. Right. And here's the thousand dollar clue. The sclera and this consist of tough tissues that make up the outer layer of the eyeball and give it strength. It's player two. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Wrong. wrong. Any other takers? Is it minus six hundred? <clears throat> We're talking about the cornea. Cornea. Well, All right. Let's go. Has second place for 2600. I own third. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy. All right, let's get to Double Jeopardy right now. The categories are energy. He was president when in the dictionary, around the world, playwrights, and and what a TV character. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player two. Make us, well, golly. He left his job and home in Mayberry to join the Marine Corps. 
Player one? Who is Domer Pyle? <laughs> what a TV character for eight Player years. one? On the Adams family, he was married to Morticia. Yes, player one? Uh, it's not Fest. No, it's not Uncle Fester. It's not Lurch. Who is Gomez? Yeah! Okay, TV character for 12. Pavel was the first name of this Star Trek character, played by Walter Koenig. Oh, I don't know that. I've never seen Star Trek. Here's the correct response. Chekhov. Oh, Chekhov. Player one. During a dream sequence, it was revealed that this Richard Dean Anderson character had the first name Angus. Hmm. The correct response is MacGyver. Oh, MacGyver, okay. Player one. Hardcore fans of Gilligan's Island know that this character's real name is Roy Hinckley. Hmm. Glad this one's not one of the daily doubles because I don't know. It's this one. player three. Skipper. No. Wrong. Any other takers? I'll give it the. Let's try. hear it, player one. Uh, who is Gilligan himself? No. Oh no! It's the professor. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player two. Yeah. That is correct. You've got some money yeah, again. Player two, you oh start us off. Player for four. His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, player three. Jack O'Neill? Sorry, that's wrong. wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? We're talking about Eugene O'Neill. Eugene O'Neill. Please pick again, player two. Public disgust over his play Ghosts caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. Here's what we wanted. Henrik Ibsen. Ibsen. We return to you, player two. 1,200 playwrights. Answer. One of the two daily doubles. Answer. The first of the two daily doubles. You're, you're in second place, out. so what is your way to going to be? So, Here's what's your way? Here is your daily double clue. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to oh, John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. Arthur Miller? Oh. No. That's, here's what we were looking for. Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams. Select again. President Winfrey. E.T., the extraterrestrial, was released, grossing more than $300 million that year. Okay, E.T. was in 1982. Yes, player one. So it wouldn't be W. Bush, it wouldn't be Clinton. Who is Ronald Reagan? <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's get back into this. Sure. Player one, let's go over to Sarah. When a piece of ice detaches from an iceberg, the iceberg is said to be doing this. The same word describes the act of a cow giving birth. It's player one. Oh, what is calving? That's right, there you go. Player one, the 26th president knew that an arctophile loves these cuddly items. Player one? What are teddy bears? <laughs> That's it. Player one. You might promenade along this flat stretch near the shore that also ends in N-A-D-E. It's player two. Serenade? Oh. Wrong. She's Anyone else no care money. to try to come up with a correct She's response? She's got no money. Here's the correct response. An esplanade. Oh, esplanade. 
We ret Someone who housels you administers this and is probably a priest. It's player one. What is communion? Yeah. Okay. Two thousand. Player one. From the Greek for scraped again, it's a type of paper used for medieval manuscripts. It's player two. Parchment. That's not it. No. Anyone else? If I were to guess, I'd say scrolls. Here's the correct response. Palimpsest. Palimpsest wasn't even You again, close. player one. Player it's for six. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. Here's the correct response. Christopher Marlowe. Oh, of course. Player one. A 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. Player one. Who's Clifford Odex? You are correct. 7800. You again, yeah, player one. Somewhere. And I'll hand it off to Kelly. He was president in 1906 when he proclaimed Devil's Tower in Wyoming the first national monument. Here's what we were looking for. Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt. You again. The Telstar communications satellite relayed the first live TV pictures from the United States to Europe. Who is the one guy with the fake glasses? <laughs> Here's what we wanted. John Kennedy. John Kennedy. Select it. The U.S. merchant ship Mayaguez was seized by Cambodian forces. U.S. forces rescued the crew of 39. Let's hear it, player three. Jump four. Yeah! <laughs> right. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make us up. The Alien and Sedition Acts were adopted by Congress. Here's the correct response. John Adams. We return to you, player three. Round the world four. In 1994, Jordan signed a peace treaty with this country, ending the official state of war between them. Player one? This is Iraq. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player three. Syria? Ooh. No. no. Oh. Sorry. Gotta be Iran. Any man. other takers? It's player two. Oh no, it's Iran. Right. <laughs> Iran wasn't even up. There. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we. In 1903, Panama declared its independence from this country. Player one? Um, what is Costa Rica? Sorry. Oh, oh, that's shoot. One. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Oh, wait a minute. Was it the United States? Here's the correct response. Colombia. No. No, it was Colombia. You get that to pick again, sense. player two. And here's Sarah. Forgotten for centuries, this Incan royal retreat was rediscovered by Hiram Bingham in 1911. Player one? What is Machu Picchu? Yeah. That's cool. There we go. 
Layer 1. Principalities of Moldavia and Wallachia were joined together to form this country in the 19th century. Here's what we wanted. Romania. Okay, 2,000. Select. There's the other daily double. Woo! Sir, the second daily double. And you're in the lead now. You need to select your wager. All right, here's your clue. The capital of this Pacific Island kingdom is Nuku'alofa. There's Samoa. You are still in first place, though. Here's the correct response. Tonga. Wrong. It was Tonga. Okay, energy for Player one, for you pick again, please. In 1937, an explosion of this, unodorized, killed 300 people in a new London, Texas school. Here's what we were looking for. Natural gas. We return. Let's go over to Jimmy. A windmill is a simple type of this. A machine with a rotor to turn flow into energy. Let's hear it, layer one. There's a turbine. Yeah. You got it. Player one. The Sequoia One nuclear reactor near Chattanooga is operated by this agency established in 1933. It's player three. TVA? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make us up the SPR. The strategic this reserve was created by the US government in 1977. Player three. Petroleum. <laughs> And the last clue for $2,000. Electricity can be produced by CSP, short for this solar power. It's done with mirrors. Here's the response we were looking for. Concentrating. Sorry, players, so well, your I score is not on the positive side, Jeopardy. so you will not be joining us for Final Jeopardy. Here's the Final Jeopardy category. 19th century inventions. You need to select your wager. Uh, 1,001. Wait, hang on a second. Let me make sure I'm entering it right. The Here's your final Jeopardy clue. One description of it said, its spokes look like cobwebs. They're after the fashion of those on the newest bicycles. What is the Ferris wheel? Let's see your response. Conestoga way. And that will oh. set you back. So you lost 3,205, dropping what you five. And I said the Ferris wheel. And that correct response. And I had 1,001 for... You can bring up the... You come out ahead as our champion, player one. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time. 6,401. Big payday, but oh well. See you next time.